Telling a story is an art in itself, and each one of us has a unique style of doing so. I've always loved the idea of combining two or more memories to create an original painting. Even if you're still learning, you can easily combine your own photo references to create something authentic. This is my brother's tabby kitten named Chico, and I think you might be seeing him as a heavily recurring subject this year. The idea for this painting came while playing Catan, or should I say Catan? Too punny? Well, I like it. My sister-in-law is constantly taking pictures of Chico, so it was easy to find a suitable reference to make it seem like the cat has taken over the board. Under all my paintings is a shaded sketch. This helps me sort out the tonal value ahead of time. When you combine references, decide on one light source so that all the shadows will be cast in one opposite direction. To simplify color mixing and to maintain color harmony, I've limited my palette to four colors. Yellow ochre, cadmium red medium, ivory black, and titanium white. Before painting over this pencil sketch, I'm going to add a wash of yellow ochre. By watering down the color, it's easy to see the drawing underneath. Now I'm going to define the outline with a mix of yellow and red, and paint the dark, medium, and light values as well. Applying a wash of color underneath not only covers white spaces, but it also gives the painting a warm base. If you wanted, you could let the underpainting show through here and there for an unfinished look. This limited Zorn palette makes painting portraits so easy and efficient. You may have noticed, however, that there's no blue in this palette. So how would you make green or purple? Well, the ivory black is actually a good substitute because it's a cool black. Mix it with this yellow or this red and then add white to this mixture to see green and purple. Every time I use this Zorn palette, I learn something new. It's so fascinating how these colors look in relation to each other. So what kind of storyteller are you? Do you like to give a detailed account or do you like to highlight just one interesting part of a story? Deciding what to keep in focus and what not to is an important factor in good storytelling. Keeping that in mind and transferring it to your painting will soon become a part of your signature style. To give the illusion of soft fur, I like to use the dry brush technique. Applying color when the paint on the brush is almost dry will give you a soft, hazy look. You don't need to paint every strand, just give the illusion of it. Since this is in my sketchbook and also not the focal point, I'm not going to go into detail painting the Catan board. Instead, I'll use color and shapes to give the suggestion of it. Only the parts closest to the cat will have more detail. Now it's time to add some sharpened detail, but not everywhere, just in a few spots like the expressive eyes, the pink nose, and the fine whiskers. And here's a completed portrait of Chico, settling on the Catan board. Let's recap. 1. When you combine references, make sure to decide on a single light source so that all the shadows are consistently in the opposite direction. 2. Use a limited palette to not only simplify color mixing, but to also maintain color harmony. 3. Choose a focal point and draw the eye to it by keeping only that part sharp and in focus with detail and bold color. Well, I hope you found this acrylic demo on storytelling useful. If you have any questions on this topic or want to learn more, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.